all over the world. The military is an important instrument for the defense of the sovereignty of a nation. To achieve this all-important task, the need for the establishment of a well-equipped and highly trained personnel for the defense of the territorial integrity of the nation is sacrosanct. Nigeria, a country located in sub-Saharan Africa with a land mass of 923,768 square kilometers and, according to the 2018 World Bank Development Indicator, has a population of over 200 million people. This vast landmass, maritime territory, space and its population need protection from both internal threat and external aggression. These require a coordinated, disciplined and well-trained armed forces. There is, however, the need for the training of junior level officers to take over command and administrative responsibility, thereby ensuring continuity in the system. Saddled with this responsibility of training these junior level officers for the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is the Nigerian Defense Academy. Established in 1964, the Nigerian Defense Academy over the years has undergone tremendous transformation both in manpower and infrastructural development under the leadership of seasoned commandants who ensured that the requirements of training and building capacity of these junior level officers do not fall short of the standard required to meet the defense need of the nation. On the 14th of November 2019, Major General Jamil Salham took over as the 29th Commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy. We will try to see together how we can uh, produce junior leadership for the Nigerian Armed Forces. And like many before him, General Salham is already setting a new standard for the training of cadets at the Nigerian Defense Academy. As a veteran army general who himself had passed through the academy and understands its culture and traditions, he has left no doubt in the mind of any keen observer over his commitment towards upholding the noble tenets of the academy as well as ensuring it remains true to its mission, which is to provide each officer cadet with the knowledge, skills and values necessary to meet the requirements of military officer through military training and character development. Upon assumption to office as the Commandant NDA, a pulling out parade for his predecessor, Major General Adeniyi Oyebadi, was immediately organized. That regimental event formally signified the end of service of the 28th Commandant of the NDA and ushered in Major General Jamil Sarham as the 29th Commandant of the NDA. Unexpectedly, General Saham quickly settled down to the task ahead. In his maiden address to the academy community comprising officers, soldiers, cadets and non-military personnel on 29th November 2019, Major General Jamil Sarham rolled out his plans for the academy in line with the institution's mission in military training, academic studies and character development. These plans covered 1 improving discipline, two, infrastructural development, and three, enhancing staff motivation. The commandant reiterated that NDA will remain true to its mission in producing efficient, loyal, and highly trained officers, both in character and learning for the armed forces of Nigeria, and who will carry out their duties with the highest sense of responsibility and professionalism. Given his commitment to producing well-trained quality junior officers for the armed forces of Nigeria, Major General Sarham charged the cadets to strive for excellence in leadership through absolute commitment 
and shun any acts capable of jeopardizing their stay in the academy or bring the academy to disrepute. I had, um, I had talked to the cadets uh, on several occasions. You know, when I came in, um, we had uh, an uh, uh, inaugural lecture. We had uh, a lot of uh, uh, presentation. We well, have told the cadets that um, what will see them through in the Korean military uh, is absolute loyalty to the nation and the service. And I think they have imbibed that and, and um, they are doing very well. Um, I have urged them and I will continue to urge them, even after they have been uh, out of the academy, to continue to be dedicated and um, uh, be selfless. The military service is a selfless service. Uh, they must continue uh, to desist from each and every act that uh, will put the armed forces and by extension the nation in any form of disrepute. Every junior cadet is expected and it is a must for him to take the directives of his senior cadet. So we believe that once we groom these senior cadets, it will be easy to work with the junior cadets because those senior cadets are the ones that take the administrative uh, guidance of the junior cadets. So you don't need officers coming to look for a cadet in first term when you have fifth termers. The commandant noted that the academy is a place of personal experience in which cadets must be allowed to navigate through this experience without parents being allowed to interfere in the training and discipline of their wards. We have time to go back. We have time to meet, do I don't want to do I don't want things. I'm a, I, I mix with my troops. You see me everywhere. But if there's anything that you want me to know immediately for us to start to tackle, to improve the NDA, I'm all yes. As a tri-service institution established to provide cadets with basic military and academic knowledge and skills, the Nigerian Defense Academy has over the years continually discharged its responsibility without compromising standard with the aim of producing well-disciplined officers for the armed forces of Nigeria. Train a tri-service institution, we train the Army, Navy, Air Force officers here. So here we have the Army wing, the Naval wing and the Air Force wing in the Nigerian Defense Academy. All of them fall under the directorate of military training. Over time, the authority in Nigerian Defense Academy have seen that the rate of indiscipline is increasing based on the acts of indiscipline and then based on the number of cadets. Of course, when you have 500 people from different backgrounds coming into ND, all of them will come in with their own uh, home training, their own background, and their perception of life. So coming into NDA, we realize that we have to tame them to doing the right thing. Discipline is bottom line and the bedrock of our service in the military. Maintaining a high level of standards requires discipline. This has never been in short supply at the Nigerian Defense Academy. Thus, having noted some lapses in this key ingredient of military training when he assumed office, one of the bold steps taken by the commandant was to order a thorough dossier review where cadets who have persistently engaged in several misconducts were weeded out of the academy. The NDA will never lower its standard to accommodate any indiscipline. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. Any offense that is contrary to the standing and existence of this academy will not will be taken very, very seriously. You cannot engage yourselves in exam or practice, a wall and brutality. Standing before you are ex cadets, your fellow uh, cadets before. 
they've indulged themselves in exam or practice, brutality, a whole, and other indiscipline that are not tolerated in the NDA. I took over the Command of the Academy uh, in November 2019. And I noticed um, there are quite some lapses in the cadets, particularly with the to discipline and general conduct. There was also the issue of training, which um, needed to be refocused to reflect the urgent needs of our armed forces. I immediately uh, set out to work along with my um, officers we did a thorough dossier review where we weeded out those who had um, persisted in misconduct and so had uh, multiple entries spanning years. Others with lesser entries were either relegated or reprimanded on the merit of each case. Upon uh, assumption of duty of the commandant, there was a pamphlet in which he outlined how he is going to run the ND. He is the commandant and he told them, brought in all cadets, all officers, this is left, this is right, this is wrong, and this is where he stands. In the same vein, it was also made clear to the cadets that while some offenses were being condoned, it is seen that if those offenses are being condoned forever, it will look as if there are no consequences. And the commandant had to tell them that nothing here is being done out of malice or wickedness. But simply, you have to understand that there are consequences for your actions and inactions. It is not surprising, therefore, that the level of discipline at the academy has tremendously improved due to measures put in place by the commandant to check the excesses of cadets and ensure they take responsibility of their actions. We also reviewed the Cadets Handbook on Discipline and General Administration uh, to make it much more reflective on how we expected the cadets to conduct themselves in and outside the academy. All of this brought about a higher sense of discipline among our cadets and helped to refocus their time and energy toward much more productive activities. One of the cardinal principles upon which the solid foundation of the Nigerian Defense Academy was built is training. As an institution that creates balance between military and academic training, the military academic branches have always complemented each other in ensuring cadets are professionally trained as fitting for the armed forces of Nigeria. We are aware it's a university and uh, many parents are looking up to their children to come to the Nigerian Defense Academy. and. Um, is also a leading military academy in Africa. Uh, many African uh, countries are seeking, you know, for admission into the academy to train their, 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 their citizens. Whatever level of training you are receiving in NDA, to a large extent, it is in peacetime. Therefore, if it is difficult for a cadet to be disciplined in peacetime, it will be very difficult for him to be disciplined in wartime. And that is why the training in ND stretches a cadet's training. We pushes him to the limits of his endurance so that when he leaves ND, he will get it easier. The, the security situation uh, is largely they're tough. It's a situation whereby uh, it's uh, mostly platoon company at most battalion level operation. And then this is where you find subalterns mostly. So, so we urge them from the academy to imbibe um, the culture of self-denial, self-discipline. They should be able to uh, um, do things that are right without supervision. In the area of academic training, within the first 10 months under Major General Serham's leadership, the academic branch received approval from the commandant for the establishment of additional faculty, as well as the addition of several new departments and the expansion of postgraduate programs. The commandant approved the establishment of a new faculty and some departments. Faculty of Management Sciences was created. Department of Management Studies was created under the new Faculty of Management Sciences. Department of Defense and Strategic Studies 
was also created under the Faculty of Art and Social Sciences. The Department of Biotechnology was also established in the Faculty of Sciences. The Department of Mechatronics Engineering was established in the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. And finally, the Department of Security and Intelligence Science was established in the Faculty of Military Science and Interdisciplinary Studies. In the same vein, General Sarham gave approval and sought for the hosting of conferences and workshops at the NDA. The Nigerian Defense Academy has promised to enhance the potential of our military and civilian staff in order to ensure efficient service delivery and take NDA to greater heights and compete with other high-ranking institutions globally. Significant to our gathering today for this conference to discuss issues of security is the security sector itself. While we should recognize and appreciate the sacrifices of our security agencies comprising the armed forces, police, paramilitary institutions, and the intelligence community, we must also know that Emerging security threats are dynamic and require to be not only assess the strategies we currently use to tackle them, but to also re-examine the structures of the security agencies and their capacity to deal with the emerging challenges. Uh, the commandant approved staff training and also supported the hosting of the following. One, International Conference on, st on State and Security by Center of Critical Thinking, Teaching and Learning, February 2020. Two, hosting of workshop on boot camp on effective grant application writing for TED Fund, NRF 2020 grant application for researchers by Center of Research in Science and Technology, July 2020. The year 2020 has indeed been a challenging one following the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic which was never envisaged and the resultant lockdown which was never anticipated, the Nigerian Defense Academy valiantly weathered the storm and never allowed the pandemic to stand in its way in discharging its responsibilities. Yes, our political and military leaders are striving hard to ensure that we stay safe. We also have responsibility, you know, we're in our training areas, in our workplaces, in our houses, to ensure that uh, all directives given by the Minister of Health uh, is regard to prevention of the spread and transmission of uh, COVID-19 is properly adhered to. We first thought that it was necessary to work on the psyche of the cadets first for them to accept the fact that the lockdown and their remaining in the academy was in their best interest first. Um, in that regard, we took a lot of steps. First, by sensitizing them, we organized a series of uh, awareness lectures for them so that they will get to understand and then know that the stay in the, that the coronavirus pandemic was real first and that it was better for them to remain within the academy. Even during outdoor training, we maintained our physical distance and all that. Uh, wearing our face mask all the time too. Uh, also deploying hand wash, washing machines even to exercise areas. Uh, ensuring that uh, uh, we sanitize our hands from time to time. Uh, those were some of the uh, measures we took to ensure that uh, training uh, were conducted uh, during this uh, COVID-19 period without any less. Although during the outbreak of the pandemic, all academic activities were suspended at the academy, However, the situation presented an opportunity for the academy to increase the number of contact hours in the area of military training in order not to rev up the quality of training in the academy. 
You know, the response to the virus all over the world saw the cessation of activities. And uh, here in NDA, we had to suspend all academic activities. However, uh, this period has helped us to leverage fully on military training. We expanded our military training uh, uh, effectively. Time and vast resources were expended uh, in the training activities in the academy, where emphasis was laid on physical training of the cadets and uh, leadership and command. So we ensured that the training activities were mostly outdoor, where we build their physical uh, training and also use of weapons and map reading. The lockdown, actually, I even see it as uh, an opportunity to test and also train the cadets on the need to remain patient and to persevere. These cadets are expected to pass out and join the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and call to duty may necessitate them to be deployed somewhere far where the station will not permit them to come home or visit their families for a prolonged period. Uh, as we speak, we have a short service course that is about passing out also with the regular cadets of uh, six, seven regular course. We have the short service course 46 that we also trained during this period of uh, the COVID-19. So essentially, it is outdoor training that we conducted throughout this period and supported very well with the innovations that came from the academic branch. All we did was to ensure that um, we adhere to the, all the COVID-19 guidelines prescribed by the National Center for Disease Control, uh, NCDC. We put a hold on all academic activities and focus solely on military training. Uh, this was because most of our military training activities are, are either done outdoors uh, or they are usually camps, uh, exercises, where we can space the cadets adequately in compliance with the, uh, 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 you know, all the uh, protocols enshrined by the uh, NCDC. This period also saw a tremendous breakthrough in the area of research and development as the academy was able to come up with innovations that not only helped to prevent contraction of the disease among cadets, but also contributed towards flattening the curve of the pandemic. It allows uh, people to sanitize their hands. It takes uh, body temperature automatically. And then as the person goes further, it uh, disinfects uh, his body. To achieve this remarkable feat during the pandemic, one of the steps taken by the Commandant, Major General Jamil Sarham, was to quickly set up a task force to chart a way forward and to find out how the NDA could support government's efforts geared at tackling the pandemic. At the beginning of the outbreak, the Commandant quickly set off a task force to chart out a way forward and find out how NDA could support government efforts in tackling the pandemic. Two ventilators, hand washing machine, and sanitizers were produced to curtail the spread of the disease. For us, the greatest breakthrough is the improvement of the quality of cadets training. I can assure those uh, officers and field commanders uh, in the field that uh, very soon this will become very visible. Apart from this, we had made tremendous breakthrough in many regards, notably among is our response to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, which was swift. We were the first institution in Nigeria uh, to produce two prototypes ventilators. Uh, this was very timely intervention at the time when the nation was still groping with how to deal with the pandemic. Also during that period, we produced a large quantity of hand sanitizers, which was readily distributed to various states and uh, institutions all across Nigeria. All this was done as our own contribution towards flattening the curve in Nigeria. The role played by the Nigerian Defense Academy in proffering solutions through innovations to help fight the pandemic did not go unnoticed as the Academy emerged winner in the Jais Bank Fight Back COVID-19 Innovation Challenge. It is worth mentioning that ventilators produced by NDA emerged the best during the Jais Bank fight back COVID-19 
Innovation Challenge. The commitment to improve training requires a robust logistic support. To this end, the Academy has in the last 10 months been able to complete its first phase of counter-terrorism village, as well as ongoing construction of a massive 200-seater computer-based test center, among many notable projects which are targeted at improving training Kaduba terrorist group continue to carry out terrorist attacks to destabilize own economy. This uh, has been the situation so far. This brings us to the current situation. So, our president, Alhaji Kato Giwa, directed the deployment of troops to flush out the elements of this Kaduba terrorist group. Uh, another aspect is the uh, the completion of the counter-terrorist village which would enhance their training in the uh, anti-terrorism activities. Uh, it will greatly uh, help the cadets when they pass out from the academy to tackle the issue of insurgency. Beyond that, uh, the commandant has put so many welfare uh, programs in place. Uh, to ensure that uh, the uh, instructors are well motivated to continue to give uh, their, 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 their best. Furthermore, on the issue of training, the Nigerian Defense Academy equally reviewed its training curricula to improve the quality of training cadets receive in order to make their training more in tune with realities in the front lines. We reviewed our training curricula. Uh, to improve the quality of training our cadets receive to make the training much more in tune with the realities in the front lines. Also took our cadets for various um, uh, tours along the, um, or rather in the theaters of operation in the Northeast, Northwest and North Central region to enable them to have a first-hand experience on what they are likely going to face after commission. In terms of infrastructure development, the giant strides towards improving the quality of infrastructure are not only limited to Afaka, which is the permanent site of the academy, but also at Ribaru, where many projects have been completed while others are ongoing. Some of these projects include renovation of uh, Giant Garba Hall at uh, the old site, that's Ribadu. We also have construction of a canteen at the NDA Primary School. We also have construction of postgraduate toilets. Uh, we also have first lift of Ribadu Gate 1 and 2. There is also construction of Mami Market, which is currently ongoing in Ribadu. And uh, renovation of a, a, a postgraduate library also have uh, supply of chairs, tables at cadet mess in Ribadu. All these things are commandant's intervention. That's by Major General uh, Jamil Sarahab. Then we also have renovation of cadet mess as, at Ribadu, construction of parameter fence, there's a construction go currently going on around the Ribado Postgraduate School. Complete uh, fencing, wall fencing, uh, and renovation of flat C3 and C4 officers accommodation. We also have renovation of uh, uh, C3 and C4 officers transit accommodation. Uh, these are some of the projects that are completed at the Nigerian Defense Academy. Similarly, the commandant has executed the following projects during the period under review. Laying of asphalt at Parried Ground Car Park, procurement of SAR vehicles for principal officers and heads of departments of the academy, construction of mortuary at NDA Hospital, Afaka, renovation of cadets mess, Afaka, Remodeling of Quarter Guard Ribadu, renovation of the Academy Adjutant House, construction of Administration Battalion Afaka, construction of Staff Primary School at Afaka, 
remodeling of NDA Hospital, Ribatlu, construction of Mami Market, Ribatlu. The projects at both Ribatlu and Afaka are designed to ensure seamless training of cadets in order to achieve highest international standard through infrastructural development and the provision of training equipment. We also have supply and installation, testing and training of various equipment in the academic branch, which is being funded by TEDFUN. There's also construction of uh, 250 uh, computer-based test hall. The construction is currently at, uh, at uh, a preliminary level. And uh, if that place is completed, we will be able to conduct a, a computer-based uh, test for candidates that were screening to enter into academy. The projects embarked upon are not just for value additions alone, as they are specifically geared at positively impacting on the quality of military and academic training at the academy. The innovation of the mess itself, the scope, included a lot of amendments, adjustments in the setup. For instance, it uh, provided for increased number of serving points and cadets now have buffet uh, feeding system. One, it makes it very fast and more efficient for the cadets. So we save time, cadet is, a cadet is always in need of time. So rather than queuing up and uh, remaining on the queue for a long time, they are able to feed fast and disperse fast and then proceed to their places of training. Currently, there are 31 ongoing projects spread across both campuses of the Nigerian Defense Academy. These projects could be broadly grouped into Commandant's Intervention Projects, NDA Capital Projects and Needs Assessment Projects. These projects are geared towards enhancing the quality of cadets' training as well as enhancing staff motivation. There's also extension of uh, cadets' accommodation, which is a needs assessment, but so far it has been transferred to, to TED Fund. So the, they are almost at the roof level. They are putting roof, uh, uh, rafters now in both the uh, cadet brigade commander's uh, office and then the cadet's accommodation. So we are hoping that, if not because of the COVID, they would have uh, gone far and most likely the intake of 2020 would have been accommodated in that same facility but actually the, prog the project is progressing. And uh, there's also construction of a 30 by one bedroom officer's transit uh, accommodation, which is ongoing. And uh, another 10 by two bedroom officer's transit uh, accommodation that the contract has just been awarded. We, we, we have already seen um, how it has already impacted positively on the training. Uh, for instance, um, uh, they have a very good atmosphere, a very good conducive environment where they have their meals, you know, you know it, uh, seen a tr tremendous improvement on that. And then um, the renovation of their uh, hostel, you know, enables them to try after a hectic day. All these interventions at the Nigerian Defense Academy are focused towards the improvement in the quality of cadets' training while the continuous infrastructural drive is to ensure that both cadets and staff are accommodated in a suitable environment that promotes learning and by extension military training. In this project, the candidate quarters and dining hall was commissioned by me Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy on 28 April 2020. Glory of God and for use by man. The projects actually they are designed to ensure uh, seamless training of cadets in order to achieve the highest international standards in the areas of 
infrastructural development and also to provision for training of equipment that can give the, the cadets a feel of what they will meet in the field. In addition, Major General Jamil Sarham was able to sponsor three inaugural lectures for three professors, including the first female professor to be inaugurated at the academy. This is the first female professorial inaugural lecture in our series. In my view, it is obvious that the academy maintains a special relationship with its past and, and tradition. The society looks to us to play a strong role in preserving and transmitting what is valued. Value. The academy also, in many ways, embodies the past and tradition, as can be seen in the caps and gowns we wear at matriculation and convocation. In doing so, the academy also embodies stability. At the same time, and ironically, one of the things that most excite us and find our admiration and investment is identification with the present and the future. Where the education must be made compulsory for every citizen in the local church. Everyone should be knowledgeable about the local weather of his or her country and especially where he or she lives. This will guide the inhabitants in their daily decision making in planning of events and other economic activities. In summary, I have in this uh, inaugural lecture tried to get you to appreciate artificial intelligence, big data, cloud security, and all about what you are supposed to know without being a computer scientist or cyber security expert in less than an hour. He as well visited several stakeholders to attract various intervention in the academy. This include his visits to Tertiary Education Trust Fund, National Universities Commission, Federal Ministries of Environment, Water Resources, among others, forging a collaboration that resulted in various interventions in the academy, which include donation of seedlings for NDA Green Project. Today's tree planting is going to be the first phase of tree planting exercise in the General Defense Academy. And this involves planting of over 10,000 trees, covering all classes of trees earlier mentioned. The trees were recently purchased by the Nigerian Defense Academy from our neighbors, a College of Forestry. The trees are divided to all the departments and shall be planted in the space and land recently declared by the Academy. The planting and maintenance of the trees lies with the various departments and branches. Let me also mention that the Ministry of Environment has graciously pledged to support the Nigerian Defense Academy with 100,000 trees. These trees also include fruit, orchard, shade and hedge plants, and economic trees. The Nigerian Defense Academy, going by its track record of excellence in training, continues to inspire support from well-meaning institutions and groups, especially from former graduates of the academy who are inspired by the rapid progress going on in NDA and are keen to contribute their quota towards the upliftment of their alma mater. This is the trophy for the champion battalion. <laughs> this one is looking very, I mean, smaller than that, but that doesn't mean the faculty is uh, <laughs> So, this is also for the best faculty. Members of the 32nd and 35th regular courses have equally donated horses during their respective anniversaries to support the NDA in equitation training. In the same vein, members of 37th regular course of the Nigerian Defense Academy in commemorating her 35th anniversary recently constructed and equipped a squash court which it donated to the academy alongside a horse to be used in the training of cadets. One of the biggest things that can happen to a man is to raise a child and the child returns after a successful time out in the world to come back and appreciate his father. To date, a seven regular course 
as children of the Defense Academy are back, we want to come and appreciate our alma mater for what we have become today. The foundation starts from here. So it is my pleasure on behalf of all members of the 37 regular course and indeed our families to present this squash court to the, and the us. But starting with the squash court to the commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, and we pray that you will please receive it and that this edifice, this facility, will be used to contribute positively to further training in this academy. This edifice will be put to good use, and then uh, I will assure you that um, we will maintain it. We, we thank you uh, very much. We thank you most sincerely. The entire developmental strides at the Nigerian Defense Academy under the leadership of Major General Jamil Sarham was to ensure an excellent working environment for the instructors and staff in order for them to put in their best while training the cadets. We all perform our rules as the various directorates and branches within the academy perform their rules towards the achievement or attainment of the set objective of the commandant. Uh, in so doing, we have regular engagements and uh, where we are challenged beyond our own uh, capacity to undertake any task. We, of course, contact him and uh, necessary support is granted us. Today, the Nigerian Defense Academy stands tall in the area of military training and academics. Number eight, Plateau Commander. Sir. Yes, advance right rear of the combat team as of advance. I'm prepared to support our combat team on others. Be prepared for any other task on my orders. You have to facilitate the destruction of Baza Meiji terrorist group in all area of responsibility. At this level of your training, you must work harder to improve the current standard. All these have been made possible through the efforts of past commandants, as well as the determination and resolve by Major General Jamil Sarham, who ensures that the vision of the academy continues to shine brighter. The cadets have exhibited um, uh, high sense of commitment and then they have um, shown that they have learned uh, in the NDA um, uh, very well and then they are really um, prepared to be commissioned to the Nigerian Army. All of this is being achieved with the support of the President Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, the Minister of Defense and the Service Chiefs who ensure that the Academy gets all the needed support to train cadets for the Armed Forces of Nigeria. NDA is not a place where you have a second thought. It's either you're here or you're not here. And the train keeps moving. And I think so far the level of uh, discipline has increased. All exercises were conducted without uh, uh, any hitch. Uh, we have also been able to carry out our tours, tours for the fifth timers, those that are about to, I mean, uh, to pass out. Uh, rather than just do things the routine manner, we also took them to the theaters, the various theaters. We took them to uh, uh, Operation, uh, I mean, uh, Operation Wire Stroke in Makodi. 
uh, Lafia Adole in uh, the northeast. We also took them to Hadar and Daji in the north, um, northwest. Uh, this is to expose the personal cadets to uh, the various theaters. Uh, during the final exercise for the passing art cadets, that is Camp Highland, we also ensured that uh, the, 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 the uh, Cherry Hills ati activities, that is the Adventure Fest, did not suffer. My vision for the Nigerian Defense Academy is for it to become the leading military academy in Africa and one of the best in the world. We are working to achieve this, and by the special grace of God, we shall accomplish this uh, in due course. Today, the determination of Major General Jamil Sarham to produce well-trained, disciplined junior level officers of the armed forces of Nigeria is paying off as he has been able to deliver in area of discipline, infrastructural development as well as staff motivation. <laughs>